As credited by Cadstov and Siegel. When a product is sold as tactical what comes to your mind? It's black and has more velcro than necessary. Velcro and paracord. More ninja shit. Ah more ninja shit doesn't disappoint. Flashlights you can hit people with. Maglite cornered that market years ago. Lol I saw a tactical baby carrier once. Just a regular canvas baby carrier but in coyote brown and with mole shit all over it. That's what I think of when I hear something described as tactical and it's usually just so silly. I can admit that the mole straps are sometimes useful on something like a day hiking pack or something, if a little extra. But a baby carrier? I will say that I wish they made some of these in non-military colorways. If it was just blue, or green, or red I'd have bought one years ago. Why you ask? Because there are plenty of times I wish I had a bottle holder on the baby carrier. Not just for them, but for me. I carry a water bottle most places and that would have been convenient. I would have made use of some of the velcro points and probably hung a bottle holder or two on it and been happy. Or oh shit, a mole pouch for wallet, keys and cell phone would have been real nice. I just don't want to look like a tactical goon while doing it though. It's a marketing line for guys that want to pretend they're soldiers. You'd be surprised about what actual soldiers buy at the PX. Gravy seals assemble. Your keeper. A product that looks sturdy, possibly constructed of questionable materials, but marketed as an ego appeal to men who need to feel masculine through their purchases. A flashlight is boring, but a tactical flashlight? Must be doing some serious man shit. A. It's just a marketing buzzword. You strategize your trip from the campfire to the van, but this flashlight will let you make tactical adjustments. Endorsed by Moldkey. Only 3 easy payments of $29.99. Usually it's fleecing the rubes. Possibly tacky and overpriced. Ticketical. If it's any bit a turtleneck, I think of that whole cottage industry that bilks preppers out of their dollars. If it's a turtleneck, I think of Archer. A tactile neck. Gender affirming care. Damn, you are not wrong. First thought is marketing to the preppers. Next thought I should look at it. OB City and OB City Accessories Military G-Rad 3 If only people realize military grade means the lowest bidder build product. Look at it from the perspective of guns, the M4 is sloppy compared to an ICE AR-15. There's just some things you absolutely don't want to be military grade. Target's goatee and mirror sunglasses wearing assholes who film their alt-right rants in their cars. You forgot bald and not my president. Stupid. That video of the old guy surrounded by paper targets, spinning and punching. You know the one. Generally, that it's some bullshit. Tactical almost never means quality materials. Even if it says that it's us military standard for military grade, generally it's not. But military grade doesn't mean shit anyway. I've seen military grade shit from the army break way too many goddamn times under normal use. Military grade usually means that it can be dropped from a goddamn plane, but it's trash if you lightly toss it onto a bed. Anything you can buy labeled as tactical is usually garbage, overpriced, and only makes you feel cool for the 5 minutes after you buy it. After that, you're basically going to hide it from everyone you see. Military grade people forget it was made by the cheapest bidder. Alpha male dumbasses. As a way to make money off of dumb people. It will be black, grey or camo and overly expensive. A slightly darker black turtleneck. The target demo are idiots. 
too many little tools that don't really work and are jacked up price for. I have never, and will never, buy tactical anything. Stupid, soft, military posers who live in their mother's basement.